Welcome to Sunday Painter with me, Sister Fiona. This is the second lesson, really. But really, it's the first lesson, if you think about it. Because, you know, it's... it's it could be confusing, but it really isn't. Don't worry about it. Because I'm going to do horse paintings today. You guys like horse paintings. That's right, I know. I'm excited, too. We're all familiar with what a horse is. There's a lot of ways to do horse paintings, but really for like most of the history of horse paintings, you paint them on stone in a cave. And I had this great cave picked out. It was a fantastic cave. Here, look at it. I had it decked out. It was all dealio. And then I went in there and it gave me the total creeps. Not right away because it was when the crawlies got on me. I was just playing out of there. I'm getting the shivers just thinking about it. Oh, gross. In order to see it better though, we're gonna paint it outdoors. Not just cause it's creepy, but it was. But outdoors we're gonna paint it. So the first thing you need to do is find a horse. Personally, I love horses in a way, especially like horse paintings for, for sure, but a painting, I like the horse paintings because they're gorgeous, but also because a, a painting doesn't bite you. It's just when you're just trying to be nice, just come out and bite you. And only recently have we come out of the cave to even try to paint some horses. So look around. It could be one laying in your spot, or could be over in a neighbor's spot. But if it's been laying there a while, make sure it's alive. Especially if they've been around, laying around for a while. So get a live horse. That's my number one recommendation. That's how I got started. But if you can't find a horse, find something close to a horse. Look close by and see what's standing by a horse. It could be a donkey or a duck. You could draw a donkey. I like donkeys. They never bit me. Start with the ass, or if it's too challenging, just try drawing a donkey. Or if you're desperate, use a pig. You know, one with the longer, more unusual legs is helpful. Or if you're lucky, you could just do what I do. You just use a unicorn. Horse painting started, believe it or not, and I'm not sure I believe it, but I do. Horse painting began some 38,000 years ago. And though it's not the oldest type of painting, I think it's worth exploring. I do, with 38,000. But then again, so are hand turkeys, which are technically the oldest paintings. I personally know about, and uh, I'm older than sure. And turkeys go back like over 64,000 years. And I felt that teaching you how to draw a hand turkey would be a waste of your time, since most of you learned it in kindergarten. But uh, if, uh, if enough people write in, uh, I'll think about doing a hand turkey show. So just keep that in your dresser drawer, in a turkey dresser. So horses, horses offer humans emotional healings with gentle demeanor and comical appearance. I'll tell you what, the horse that bit me wasn't funny. I was arguing with myself the other day, the other day, and you be the judge. I said horse painting started 30, 35,000 years ago. No, no, it was 38,000 years ago. I'll tell you what, the horse that bit me was not funny or comical or in any way friendly, and I'm still mad about it, yes, but I still like horse painting, and that tells you how much I like art, and you can do the same thing. Uh, that, that, may, that may be just one reason why painting them became so popular because painting 
does the same thing. You can get closer to yourself with horse painting. It's like an emotional connection I have with my inner horse. But first, go find a horse. I'm going to tell you the secret to a horse painting. My recommendation is that you use, if you're going to paint a horse, you get the horse body paint. You get Derv's horse body paint. And if you, the great thing about it is, is it's edible. I know, right? And if you eat it, you or the horse, neither one of you gets sick. As long as you know you're both washed up. But if you eat it, it's just a derves treat. It's a derve snack. These are what I call derve snacks. Because it's just derv snacks. But remember, when a horse eats it, but if a horse eat it, eats it, it's a horse derves. That's the only difference. They taste identically the same, basically. Okay, let's just jump right into this and get this painting started. Now that could be soft. This is the horse that I found. I call him Nelly. He sleeps quite a lot, so let's keep quiet. He really sleeps a lot, so let's keep quiet. You can tell he's really asleep by the type of snoring he does. Ideally, you ask permission before you paint a horse given their temper problems. And due to how cranky a horse can be when you wake him up, I'm just going to start by sketching it first. Very lightly, I use this tattoo knife. You gotta be quiet if you're painting a horse. Do 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 because you might wake him up and cause him to get scared. So this, like I was saying, is my tattoo knife. And I do it very, of course, you've got to do it really careful. You don't want to scare the horse. Horses tend to get very excitable around knives and the idea of tattoos, I think. <laughs> That is bad. What a time to wind you and say what is going on. Like, what are you doing back there? Wait a second. What, what are you doing? What, who are you? Who are you? Oh, I remember you. <laughs> what are you doing? A tattoo? A zoom tattoo? Oh, gosh, bless you. You should probably take something for that. A tattoo? It's not a tattoo. A tattoo? <laughs> Let me know when you're finished. <laughs> oh my god, now I've got... I've got... I've got some... I've... I've... Uh, 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 tattoo! Now you're making me sneeze. 
That's a really heck of a sneeze that you... That seems contagious to me. You should probably take something for that. Maybe some Robitussin or something. Nelly, I got a question. You might... You might call it an ass. My name is not Nelly, it's Pony Otis. I am not giving you any permission to do anything. So yes, you know, can I paint your portrait? Uh, uh huh? Yeah, but coffee first. Okay, just you're gonna have to turn around a little bit. Okay, but then just first turn around first, okay? Just turn around a little bit more. Oh, come on, come on. Come on, unicorn. Uh, I am a horse, not a unicorn. I guess I'm gonna have to lift you up then here. I'm just gonna lift you up. Just take it a little bit easy. Or just a little bit further. I think you went farther. Okay, just a little bit further up this way. I think you meant to say farther. That is what I said. No, you didn't. You said Yes, further. I did. I know what you said. Yes, I did. No, you didn't. I know what you said. I have very sensitive ears. I guess I'm going to have to lift you up then here. <laughs> I'm just going to lift you up. Just take it a little bit easy. Okay, now really go over a little bit further. Seriously, you got to go up a little more. Hey, watch it. More. I am watching it. I'm sorry, but they are perfect. Perfect, huh? Okay. Okay, you can paint me. You look like you're doing your best to me. I think you're doing good. I think you're doing good. I think you're doing good. Do 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 do. What are you doing? No, no, no. Settle down, post toasty, or I won't be able to concentrate on my art. Making some stupid graffiti on me. You'll see it's art. I'm not so sure about that. You can copy me if you want to. But you can do it you, your way. Can I take a look? No, you'll see when I want you to see it. When I'm done, you'll like it. I'm pretty sure of that. And uh, I want it to be a surprise for you. I don't like surprises. I don't, a tattoo is not a surprise. It isn't. It's not a tattoo. It's a cave painting. <laughs> oh, you can forget that. I'm not going in any caves. Oh, oh I don't think so. Uh, no. I don't think so. It's a cave painting. Oh, I don't think so. I don't think so. It's a cave painting. It isn't. It is not a cave painting. I'm just about had it out of you. Too creepy, right? No, I'm allergic to caves. My name's not Nelly. It is Nelly. The important thing is... Is that we get you some... The important uh, thing is... Is that I get some chamomile tea uh, very soon with some slippery elm bark in it. Because my throat is a little sore. There's some slippery elm bark I am standing. There's some down there in the valley down there. And, uh... Yeah, you and me will go get some as soon as... As soon as you're done with the sitting. Standing, don't they? I know they call it a sitting or a portrait, they don't call it standing, right? It is a 
melon. I always get the whites of their eyes like this. I always like to make them look friendly, you know. Start off on the right hoof. I always do. Now this is a little trickier part. I always do a do the nostrils flaring. There's a lot of controversy in that. You make your own decision. I want to do these flaring. I like it. It's looking good. Now here comes the easiest parts and the hardest parts. You know, you got to do this just right. It's the facial hair. We're going to do it back here on the rump. They call this a marathoner's beard. I just call it a jogger's beard 26.0. I use green for the hair because that's the way it looks to me. It looks kind of like it's got green hair. It's golden. I'm a golden bearded Palomino. He says he's a golden bearded Palomino. Okay, unicorn. And blue skin. Hey, uh, where's that chamomile tea you promised? They don't. They don't call it a standing. I know they call it a sitting or a portrait. They don't call it standing. Well, it could be. Please don't pay me. I don't want that. Well, you don't know what you want. I do too. I do actually do know that I do not want it. <laughs> of my own face on my butt. Hush! Quit moving your lips. I'm working on them right now. That's right, Me? I think so. No. How about All just right. <laughs> All right. Hey. I'm just working on your horn right now. I like to make sounds when I paint. No, pretty sure this one's a horn. Lo da da la la. Lo no 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 no. No, I'm pretty sure it's a horn. I like to make sounds when I paint. So just, you know, you want to mush it around a little bit like this and do some flishy flashes. Stir it around like that. And a little bit of, it's always important, I think, to put a little finesse on something like this. And then we're going to come around in curvy style. I like it. It's looking good. There's many ways you can do this. Just follow your heart. <laughs> Hold still, Pop Toasties. I'm almost through. I don't want to mess up at the last minute. My name is Pony Otis. important things I can do. One of the most important things I can say to you students out there is do not skimp on technique. You need to like have technique. Yeah, that's the way. That's the way I paint. That is right. Okay, I think this is pretty much done. I like it. Okay. Take You're a look. Feeling. I never knew. Hey, that looks pretty good. You even got both my ears. Well, you know. You know. Mm, this is basically very good. Hey, it looks so... Uh, hey. Whoa, wait a second. 
You made it look like I'm stiff in my own butt. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. So why did you paint my face looking like that? Well, I guess way? because uh, it's me that. Uh, I'm, left, I'm left-handed. I'm a left-handy, and um, yeah, I realized now I should probably turn you around to paint it, and then huh? I'd have you stiffen your shoulder blade instead. I would have done that differently. Well, then wipe it off. Well, that's kind of easier said than done. Wipe it off. Well, I actually think that you should probably sleep on it. And I think you're going to like it tomorrow. I'm going to like a portrait of myself sniffing my own butt better tomorrow because I have a good night's sleep. Is that what you're suggesting? Basically. Well, then wipe it off. Wipe it off. What about a hand turkey? How about... Right there in your caboose. No. How about that? Just wipe it off. Yeah, I think I know what you're saying. Just wipe it off. When I don't know. What about now? It's kind of a big decision. I think you better sleep on it. But uh, that's all the time we got today. I'm not going to sign this one. Because you never really signed cave paintings. I'd like to thank my special guest, Pony Otis. Thanks, Pony. Come back next week and join me for Sunday Painter. This is so embarrassing. I really want you to take this off right away. Um, I don't care if you have to eat it off. Just get it off of me. Oh yeah, that reminds me. The dots are probably even older. You know, they're painting too. I could do a dots thing. I could do a dots thing on ya. Where's that chamomile tea you promised? With the slippery elm bark in it. What about a hand turkey? Right there in your caboose. How about that? Horse eats it. It's horse dough. Sold at bookstores and lingerie shops. Every